friends, welcome back to my channel and a special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers personal points plan. Happy Saturday, it's Saturday so it is grocery haul day, one of my favorite, favorite days of the week. So if you are excited for a grocery haul, give this video a huge thumbs up and if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, I'd love to have you join my community. Hit the subscribe button and click the bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. We do grocery hauls every single Saturday. Check out that description box down below for my 2022 calendar. I am down to less than 10 calendars left. So if you've been thinking about it or you want a great gift for someone on a healthy lifestyle journey, the calendar is perfect for that. So definitely grab it before it's gone. Links, discounts to my favorite things, nutrition coaching where I offer personalized macros, one-on-one -on -one coaching, and my Facebook group. We'd love to have you head on over, join us there, are all down in that description box. So without further ado, we're jumping in to this week's grocery haul. So here's my grocery haul for the week. I went to Trader Joe's for lots of produce and some new yummy foods. And then I went to Walmart grocery pickup as well. Let me show you what's in our grocery haul. What you don't see is a case of Coors Light and a case of Diet Coke, just like every other week. But let me show you everything else I picked up for the week. Some better than leftovers dog treats from Trader Joe's. My dogs absolutely love these. They're so fun. Just like Thanksgiving dinner leftover flavor. So I picked those. I'm making my famous frosted sugar cookies again this year. I'll link the video I did on these last year. Game changer when it comes to frosted sugar cookies. I can't have them, but I'm going to make them for my family for Christmas, so I needed some sugar. A can of black olives for Troy's lunches. A can of cream of celery soup. This is for a dinner recipe this next week. A new food find to me is this cheesy seasoning mix at Trader Joe's. It's five calories for a quarter of a teaspoon, but it doesn't have any carbohydrates in it. And I thought that this would be a good addition to vegetables instead of using points, calories, macros for vegetable, for cheese on vegetables. I could just add some of this cheesy seasoning blend. So I picked it up to give it a try. Troy asked for cracker cut cheese so that he can do meat, cheese, and crackers. I actually ordered the Walmart brand, but they were out. So they substituted with the Cracker Barrel. I am not complaining because this cheese is actually better. To no surprise, a huge 18 pack of my favorite eggs, the Happy Egg. I picked up some sugar-free French vanilla syrup. It has been a long time since I bought sugar-free syrup, but my coffee creamers that I've changed over to just aren't as sweet as I like sometimes. So I thought that this small bottle would be perfect to have on hand just to add a little bit of extra sweetness when needed. I picked up quite a few yogurts. I'm really liking the Too Good just because it is super low in sugar. So I did strawberry, coconut, and mixed berry. And then at Trader Joe's, I saw this Skyer low fat yogurt and cherry. It's one and a half percent milk fat. It's 130 calories for the container, but it's pretty low in sugar. So I thought that I would try it. This is generally a thicker, richer yogurt. For my sugar cookies, I use a mixture. This is kind of my secret weapon, but I use one can of Pillsbury vanilla frosting, and then I use a can of the Pillsbury cream cheese frosting, and I mix those together for the frosting, and it's just the perfect combination for my cookies. My doctor suggested the skinny girl dressings. Now I'd never really picked these up before, but I have to be really mindful with whatever dressing I'm choosing. So I opted for the poppy seed. I heard the ranch is really, really good. So I'll get that next time, but this is a fat free and it's only 10 calories per serving. I also decided to grab some propel. This are the little water enhancer packets with electrolytes, just in the event that I really want something flavored since I'm not drinking sparkling water anymore or diet pop at all. I thought that on the off chance that I was really crazy something flavored that I could add one of these little packets of propel to my water this is the kiwi strawberry some gel food coloring for the frosting for my cookies I like to color it red and green sometimes blue and yellow but the color in the frosting just makes the Christmas cookie a can of cream of chicken soup this is also for a dinner recipe the same one that I need the cream of celery for and this one was a substitution I ordered the healthy request and they substituted for just the regular one can of the great value biscuits this is for that same recipe. I will share with you what I'm doing for dinners this next week and what you'll be seeing on Monday for meal prep at the end of today's video, so stay tuned. Two cans of green beans for my dogs. I actually ordered the no salt added. They substituted for the 
regular. So what I do is I just rinse these really well before I give them to my dogs just to rinse off any salt. Another thing that was recommended for me to add to yogurt to add to my smoothies is hemp seeds. So I picked up the shelled hemp seeds from Trader Joe's. A bag of Christmas Hershey Kisses. We are doing a saran wrap game at Christmas and I needed the little Hershey Kisses for that. Obviously, I won't be having any of these, but we always put some type of candy in the saran wrap. If you guys want to know more about the saran wrap game, let me know and I'll share it with you guys in this next week's What I Eat in a Day. A big, huge pack of sugar-free Jello. This was another thing that was recommended by my doctor for me to have for a sweet treat. This particular brand, Winky Desserts, I heard is better than the Jello brand, so we're going to try it. Troy also likes sugar-free Jello, so he'll eat these as well. I decided to get the turkey breast cutlet from Trader Joe's. These are super, super thin slice. And I thought that these would be great for me to have for a quick lunch or dinner. They'll cook rather quickly because they're thin slice and they just have a ton of protein. I also grabbed some thin sliced chicken breast. I prefer the thin slice when possible. Again, it just cooks a lot faster. And a pound of 99% extra lean ground turkey, of course, for dinners. We're going to have a taco night this next week. I'm not having a tortilla shell or taco shells because I'm not able to have those. So I decided to get, pick up these jicama wraps from Trader Joe's. I bought these a long time ago and these make the perfect wrap for a taco. You can even fill these with your favorite deli meat and cheese. They just give that crunch that a taco shell would give you and they add a really, really good flavor. So I'm excited to have these. I'm probably going to have these with some lunches and maybe even some breakfast as well. I've never bought the light Havarti cheese from Trader Joe's, but I love Havarti cheese and I do need to watch my fat. So I picked up the light. These are only 70 calories a piece and it's so soft. The cheese is so soft. I'm excited. I've been liking lunch meat or deli meat for a snack as well as in a lettuce wrap for lunch. So I grabbed some of the Trader Joe's Black Forest uncured ham. And then at Trader Joe's, I also picked up the Columbus brand of the smoked turkey. I was out of my almond milk. So I, this time I picked up the Califia Farms 35 calorie un sweetened almond milk. I actually really like this brand and it doesn't have carrageenan in it. So I grabbed that. Some frozen wild Alaskan cod from Trader Joe's. Look how cheap that was for all of this fish. I've been really enjoying fish for lunch, which is super weird because I don't eat fish very often. My husband doesn't really like it, so I never used to buy it. But now that I have to be mindful of my protein source, I have been loving fish. And then lots and lots and lots of fruits and vegetables because that is the staple of my diet. So I did pick up some white mushrooms. Troy wants kebabs for his lunch this next week, so I bought the mushrooms for that. Some green onions for a recipe as well as salads. I also picked up some whole carrots. I need these for a recipe and then I actually like this type of carrot better than baby carrots for snacking. A three pack of organic red bell peppers. Some zucchini. I love zucchini. We're going to put this on the kebabs and then whatever is left over, I like to pop it in the oven with a little bit of avocado avocado oil, salt and pepper, and roast it. It is so good. And both Troy and I love zucchini. A big, huge pack of raspberries. Berries are my fruit of choice. So I decided to get raspberries. And then I did some organic strawberries too, because I need this for my meal prep. And then of course, whatever's left over can be my fruit. I do have one fruit per day and it's generally berries. Two bags of shredded green cabbage. This is for my lunch meal prep. I thought this was easier than buying a head of cabbage and chopping it up myself. I did get some romaine heart so that I can make lettuce wrap sandwiches. I also, for some reason, am craving a hamburger. So I thought I could do some 96% extra lean ground beef and make a lettuce wrap burger, get my burger fix, but save all the carbs from the bun. And then in the back here, I have a big bag of butter, lettuce, and radicchio. This is just for salads for the week. And for frozen vegetables, I did some broccoli florets. This has kind of been my go-to. Broccoli has a good amount of fiber, which is helpful. So I picked that up. And then also some green beans for me. And then for the recipe I'm making for Troy for dinner, um, we need a peas and carrot. So that is everything that I picked up for the week. A nice, healthy grocery haul with some new food finds. So let's go ahead and jump into my menu for the week, what you'll be seeing in meal prep on Monday. So here's what's on my menu for this next week, the week of Christmas. Still, I tell you, every time it completely blows my mind. But today, Saturday, we're doing out for dinner, pizza night. I'm not sure exactly what we're going to do tonight. Tomorrow, Sunday, I'm making crock pot chicken and dumplings. You will see this recipe in next Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. My husband requested BLT, so that's what we're doing on Monday. Tuesday is a leftovers night. Wednesday, we're doing tacos. And of course, I'm using my yummy jicama wraps. Thursday is a leftover night just because 
Friday's Christmas Eve, so we want to eat up any leftovers from earlier in the week before we have a lot of extra food in our refrigerator. And here's what you'll be seeing on Monday in this week's meal prep. So for breakfast this week, I'm making chia and strawberry yogurt parfaits. I'm really excited for this. I've been on this big chia seed kick. I don't know why, but I'm loving me chia seeds this time lately, so I'm going to make a parfait. Lunch is a low carb egg roll in a bowl. I haven't made this in so long and I love this recipe. And then for a, not dinner, wow Jen, for dessert, I'm making chia chocolate pudding. I warned you, I'm loving chia seeds. So you'll be seeing all three of these recipes in Monday's meal prep. Thank you for joining me on another weekly WW Grocery Haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing all the good stuff that I picked up for the week, all of my healthy staples, my new food finds. I'm really, really, truly enjoying this new way of eating a lot more than I thought that I would. Lots of healthy recipes coming your way for next week's meal prep. So if you enjoyed it, thumbs it up. I really appreciate it. And subscribe if you're not. I'd love to have you here. Don't forget to check out that description box and grab your 2022 calendar. Links and discounts to my favorite things, nutrition coaching, and of course, don't forget, join us on Facebook. We'd love to have you. Happy Saturday, friends, and I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Bye!